hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette just because I'm so obsessed with it and I think a lot of you are so I thought I'd create another look using it. I sort of created like a smoky wing but then I put winged eyeliner on top too, liquid eyeliner. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoy this look and if you would like to see how I achieved it then please keep watching. So first of all I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Hangover X Primer. This helps to hydrate my skin and get it ready for the foundation. For foundation I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and I'm in the shade 120. And I'm applying this with my Zoeva Silk Finish Brush. I love this foundation because it just has an amazing coverage. Not too much and not too little, it's just, just perfect. I'm now going in with the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer in the shade Fair and I'm going to apply this under my eyes in a triangle shape and then in between the forehead, like in between the eyebrows, um, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow and the chin. This is such a high coverage um, concealer, it's awesome. And then I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Now to bake underneath my eyes I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I'm really packing that on underneath the eye with my damp beauty blender. The beauty blender is still damp. Now I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe and I'm just going to fill in my brows. <laughs> To get rid of the excess powder, I'm just using a Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Brush. This is an F15. You can use any brush, really, just to get rid of the excess powder, and you'll be left with really nice, bright under eyes, and your concealer will stay there all day. Now I'm going to go in with a Hoola um, Bronzer from Benefit, and I'm going to be using the Hoola brush as well, and I'm just popping it in the contour kind of areas. This brush makes it so quick to do this step. I just love it. It's so soft as well, um, but yeah, it just makes it so easy, and this bronzer I feel is great for contouring and bronzing together so you don't have to use two different shades if you want to contour then bronze but yeah perfect. To highlight I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Sin highlighter I love this um, and I'm going to pop it on the tops of my cheekbones and bring it round to the side of my brow and then I'm going to pop it on my cupid's bow and the bridge of my nose. For blush, I'm going to go in with an oldie but a goodie and it's Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is a really nice orangey blush, I think it's really nice for summer. Now onto the eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and firstly I'm going to go in with the shade Vermeer and I'm going to be popping that on my brow bone. I'm just using a concealer brush to do this. Now I'm going to go in with Golden Ochre and I'm going to be using the E40 brush from Sigma and I'm popping this through the crease and the upper crease area just as a transition shade. And then after that I'm going to go in with the shade Raw Sienna <laughs> and I'm just going to blend that into it as well. Now I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange and I'm going to pop this all over the base of the lid but I'm actually using the E40 brush still because I want to blend it into the crease as well. So I'm blending it all onto the lid, like pushing it onto the lid then blending it into the crease. Now I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber which is a deep brown and I'm going to be popping that all along the lash line and I'm going to be using a Zoeva 231 brush to do this and I'm popping it all on the, along the lash line but kind of smoking it into that orange shade. You can kind of see what I'm doing um, but yeah I'm just really smudging it so it looks quite smoky. And then using the same brush I'm just going to run it through the crease slightly to deepen it. 
and then I'm just blending again with the E40 brush. On the inner corner I'm using Vermeer which is the shade we use for our brow bone. And then on the lower lash line I'm using Burnt Orange on that Zoeva brush. So there's still a bit of um, Cypress Umber on it so it goes a bit dark as well. So Burnt Orange and Cypress Umber. Now um, for my um, liquid eyeliner I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and I'm just creating a bit of a wing. For mascara, I'm going to be using Too Faced Better Than Sex and I'm going to be doing my top and bottom lashes. I'm now popping a little bit more Cypress Umber on that outer corner of the eye near the wing just to deepen it a bit. And then I just blend it just a little bit more through the crease. For the lips, I'm going to go in with Coloured Rain Matte Liquid Paint in the shade Marshmallow. This is such a gorgeous deep shade, I love it. And it applies really nicely. So that is the final look guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment. I hope you all have a great day and I'll speak to you soon. Hi guys, I hope you're all well. Today I've got a motivational video for you. Um, a few days ago I came across Tony Robbins. I've never heard of him before, but um, I came across him on Netflix.